Today we have ticket number 11493 and it's a faulty HDMI port on a PlayStation 4. The revision of this board is a SAC001 and I think this was the latest revision of the PlayStation 4. I could be wrong about that. We don't seem to have a display but the HDMI port itself seems to be all right. Let's take it under the scope real quick and see what's going on. On the other revisions of PlayStation 4s you have the HDMI IC on the other side of the board underneath a metal shielding. Okay it doesn't look too bad but again looks can be quite deceiving. The pins seem to be a little bit loose. Ever so slightly, they're wiggling. They're definitely not solid. So let's get this port off and see what state the pads are in. Okay, the pads seem to be okay. Let's apply some flux and try and get all of this stuff off the board. Let's add some leaded solder to the pads here. Just these ground holes very quick. Take our wickety wick. Quick clean with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to use a solder sucker to clear the holes, the ground holes. And now we have cleaned out the ground holes. And because of these ports, I am going to have to just move this over and hold it in place whilst I solder it down just here. And I really have to push on this because otherwise, if I leave it, look, you can see it's dead in the center of all the pads. So what I'm going to have to do is pre tin my soldering iron and flux down. And we are going to have bridges, but we're going to sort them pretty much straight away. Okay, now that's in place. Now we can just slowly go over these pins and drag the solder. Cleaning our iron, going back and forth. Dragging it right to the end. Get a piece of wick and just wick away the excess. And again, just go back and forth. Let's make sure it all has a good connection. Make sure we have no bridges. Right, let's give it a clean and see how we're doing. Okay, I think we're looking okay. Yeah, it looks nice and clean. Let's just make sure the pins aren't going anywhere. They're all soldered well. Nice, quickly check with our multimeter to see if we have any bridges. Doesn't look like it, but always good to test. All good. Whilst we're here, I will just check this fuse and make sure that it's still good. Sometimes it can be the cause of no display. Yeah, absolutely fine. Do we have continuity on these filters? Yeah, so we're meant to have continuity straight through, not left and right, which is good. All checks out, should be okay. If we just put our meter into die mode and check these dies real quick, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, they all seem to be fine as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the holes on the back. I'm actually going to change tip for this for a bigger heat transfer. I think we're in the realms of giving this a test. Here's the final product. This is what it looks like on the back. And this is what it looks like on this side. Let's give it a test. All right, well, it didn't work. So what I'm gonna do now is replace the HDMI IC that we have here. So I'm just gonna get this off the board very quickly. All right, there we go. We got that one off. We're gonna put the other one on now. Make sure it lines up correctly. We'll be able to use flux in a second to make sure that it is definitely in place. There we go. As you can see, it's all nice and lined up as well. All pins on this side seem to be connected nicely. Top side and same for this side. Just to triply check that we've done a good job, we are just going to apply some flux around the edges and go over it with a soldering iron. And again, just another clean. Right, now let's test and see if this works. Here we have the console disassembled. I am giving it a nice clean for the customer. But if we just give it power, let's see. If we get anything on the screen, there we go, yes. Three timer change work, perfect. We've now reassembled the console, we've tested the audio and the image and stuff and everything seems to be working with no issues. Another happy customer. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna use our mailing service, please click on the link down below in the description and I'll see you in the next one, peace.